Hello everyone, this is your Suraj back again with another interesting topic called continuation calls in the web service. Okay, so what is this continuation? You might get doubt, hey, is this a for loop continuation? No. So in the web services, we have something called continuation. Okay, I got many requests from, from several people uh, asking for me about this uh, training tutorial. Uh, so let me, uh, let me, you know, like try to explain my best uh, how I can do on the continuation side. So let's, uh, before we go to the continuation, let's see, you know, like how generally a web service calls executes in an Apex programming. If you look at my uh, screen here, okay, so I, from the Salesforce side, I assume that in my Apex class, I have three requests, okay, in a single action, I have three requests. Regularly what happens, you know, like first it will go, first request will fire, it will wait for the response, once it receives the response, then the second request will fire, and then wait for the response, then the third request fires, wait for the response, so it goes in a sequential order from top to bottom as in, in your program however you write it goes from the top to bottom one after the other so in this way this is you know like regularly how the uh, the web service calls works when you do uh, multiple callouts but the problem here is until unless you get a response from the from request one okay your request two will not execute okay and so on like two three whatever services you write so it has to wait for the first task to complete before going to the second task okay and the people who are new to the web service calls for you a good example is let's take an example of a supermarket okay towards right side you see an image where you know like at the billing counter two people are standing one after the other so let in, in this uh, example I assume that there is only one billing counter and once that first person completes his entire billing and moves out of that counter then only the second person can go right this is quite similar to our uh, process in our web service calls it runs one after the other okay parallel process cannot happen so to overcome such problems okay so i'll give you one more scenario here before i move further i'll give one more scenario the scenario is assume that the request one is taking longer time okay like it might take a minute or two it's taking more time okay so in such cases what happens the other request has to wait okay most of them you you might have experience when you go to a supermarket or a grocery store uh, in front of you the person if his cart is fully loaded then you have to wait for a longer time until unless they complete their billing and then you have to go though you though you have only two or three items but you have to wait in a queue for a longer time so to overcome such problems we have something called continuation okay so what is this continuation in a simple words a parallel processing i can say in the simple words it's a parallel processing so you need not to wait for one request to complete to start an another request okay like in my screen if you see here i can all my three requests can go and connect to the external system and i can get the responses later on okay few services might be faster few services might be slower okay if i go back to my supermarket example the grocery store if it's a single line it's a problem the line is so bigger but if we, if i have multiple billing counters then the process is faster the billing is done so fast and the customers can keep going outside right so quite similarly we have something called continuation in salesforce okay where it's a parallel processing i can say where you can send all the requests at a time and you can wait for the responses okay don't think that you have many here as of I know, it's only three limit of three services at a time you can fire until unless the, I mean, only three in a queue, I can say, okay. Uh, if, if there are any announcements from the Salesforce side, uh, we have to always check for the release notes to check whether there are any announcements to it or not. So it is there in the Salesforce Lightning and as well as Classic. 
if you look at the apex programming earlier we used to write with apex programming and visual force pages in order to go with the continuation process but uh, recently in the lightning as well we have something called uh, continuous annotation so using that we can go with uh, light, uh, in lightning uh, in salesforce lightning as well you can do your continuation process so you don't need visual force pages for that so let's see, you know, like how this programming goes on. I have a simple programming, which I bought it from, uh, you know, like the Salesforce trialets. So let's see, you know, like, uh, let me explain you how this continuation process goes on. So for that, I'll use my Salesforce trial account. Oops, a different slide. All right. Uh, let me get into the developer console. So this uh, programming gonna be in the lightning so the people who know lightning can understand it quicker and uh, I'll try to explain uh, method by method so the people who are new to lightning they can also understand it very easily remember you can do this uh, in the Salesforce classic as well using visual force pages and FX program so to do that what I'll do is I'll just go to my lightning resources Oops. I don't want to open the existing one. I want to go with a new lightning component. Let me name it as, okay, I have the program noted down in my notepad. So I just did this so to save a lot of your time. So I'm just, uh oh, what happened? Sometimes my keyboard doesn't work properly. Oof, okay, so. Let me go to my browser, give a simple name. I'm just using the name as simple example continuation. This is my component which I created. So first let me put my component code here. So the prerequisites for this programming is you guys should know the lightning uh, programming so it's easy to understand. So in my programming, what I did is I have writing a component and going to a controller, which has a, just a simple button, which is going to call a continuation method. Oops. So my class is not available. Let me create a new class or else it will throw an error. I'm creating a new class, a blank class. Later I'll fill with the code. Okay. So now there is a simple component where I've associated that to a controller and I label it as call continuation on click I'm going to call a particular method in my controller so let me go to my controller right now there is no code let me put the code here I don't take much of your time so as quick as possible I'll do it okay so in this scenario what happens is once user click on this call continuation process it goes to my controller from here the process starts so here I'm going to call a method called start continuation process which is in the FX class right now it is not there let me put it here Copy pasting a programming is so simple than writing it from scratch. <laughs> I always prefer if I have something, I always prefer to copy paste. Okay, so in the lightning, in Salesforce lightning, we have something called continuation. Okay, so we have a continuation annotation using this, we can create a parallel processing web service calls. So let me explain you from the starting again I have a component on click of this button it will go to my controller on the controller I'm calling my continuation process which in turns go to my controller where I declare an aura enable method and provided a parameter called continuation and these are the uh, continuation uh, the, the line number six says that it's a continuation class it's an uh, inbuilt apex uh, class so I'm not writing it it's already available in build 
so i'm giving the time as 40 seconds for my response and uh, this is my method where i'm going to call the continuation my fx method and here if you see i have another uh, another aura enable method where i'm uh, it's the same name i'm giving here the continuation method name okay where i'm going to have the response here by passing certain parameters so the people who already know the uh, web service programming they can easily understand what is this http uh, request and the response classes but the new thing for you is the continuation so this is a uh, salesforce inbuilt class you can use it in fx uh, programming in the classic or on the lightning side so in my example i'm using an uh, Heroku app URL so this also I got it from the Google itself so what I'll do is I'll try to hit this link and try to get the response and we'll show that response on on UI screen on the alert so to do that what I'll do is uh, as I'm calling this uh, start continuation process from my controller okay so once my action starts as you know, the set callback is going to call this process, everything, all my controller process executes the parallel process. Right now, I'm calling only one service where it is hitting one Heroku app and getting the response. Whatever, based on the response, once I get the state, I'm going to check if it is success. Then I'm just trying to print it on a console log or else I can use an alert. That's up to us. So how, if you are, if you feel going with an alert, you can go with an alert. If you want to put a uh, console log that's up to you so there are three different types of states I'm going to get whether it is success incomplete or an error so if it's an error I'm going to log the error if it is a success message I'm just trying to print it on the screen so in your programming you can do whatever you want like read that code put it in a variable process it blah 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 whatever you want to do now I have a component so to have it to show you an output of this, let me create an app, a lightning app. So I'm going to click on new and going to a lightning application. Let me create a lightning application. And let me call Oops, what's wrong? No component name. Did I make any mistake? I don't know. Mostly it is same. Yep, see. Now it's got two. Maybe some character mistake. I'm bad in typing. You know, sometimes my typing is faster than I think. Okay, I, I assume that if I have to type 10 words. I simply type eight words, two, two words will be in my mind, which will not come onto the typing screen. <laughs> so that's how it is. All right. So let me go to the preview of this. So I have a button called continuation, which you can see it on my component here. This is the only button which is there on the screen. And click on this. The process starts on the back end. You, if you want to see the logs, you can Put the console logs and you can check it sometimes it's fast or sometimes it's slow see i got the response i got the id some name some blah 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 description okay some sort of parameters i got it the json i have received from my output okay this is how it's going to work okay so hope when you are doing your practicals you will pause my videos look at the program Try to put the same thing on your screen and have a check. So in case if you have any questions, get back to me. I'll try to respond to you ASAP. But when you are doing the practicals and if, who, if you are new to the programming side, okay, so you need not to keep all these if conditions. This is not mandatory. Okay, directly just put the uh, response.get return value from here and then you can check the result okay so this is in my programming i added but if you are new uh, as you know the programming is complicated if you miss a character or a comma it doesn't work so for the new people you know you don't need this entire selected one you can just put the uh, response written value and check the output 
okay so i repeat my uh, you know like the theoretical part once again it is so simple just think that uh, normal web services goes in a flow from top to bottom one after the other but for the continuation classes the parallel processing will happen and you get the response back okay hope you enjoyed this uh, video let me know if you have any questions thank you very much